Hello again, this is Lama. Um, we'll be reviewing the Biker Safe with uh, Danley again. He's been a great resource for those videos because he, he's a skin maker, he likes skins, he's a collector, so his input is always welcome and interesting. So, welcome back again. Yeah, it's, I, I like doing this. It gives me something other than do other gives me something else to do other than play the game. So that's true. Yeah, that's yeah. Yeah, we and don't I, really have anybody doing reviews of safes, so that's, that's kind of yeah, different, I guess. I, so. I I like talking about the skins either way. <laughs> like talk about them. Not a lot of people do that. Surfing. Yeah. Well, maybe Keanu does, but he's kind of angry sometimes. So. <laughs> yeah, he likes to rant a little bit more, which. I guess the community needs a little bit of that, but yes. I only can handle so much of it. Yeah. <laughs> so this safe came out a week after Rust was released, which I think was uh, in June 2016, I believe. That yeah, sounds about right. Yeah. Like a couple of weeks after Sydney, actually. So, And this safe, it was the first safe to not require any drills, which was interesting at the time revolutionary like not many <laughs> games have taken away microtransaction no that's well it's still indirectly a microtransaction you just don't need to drill to to open yeah. it and the developer yeah. still gets the cash from sending the safe or the skin he's away but it's, it's, still it's much much less than the previous systems where they you have to pay about two dollar fifty to open a safe yep and that's when also skins starting to get a lot more affordable and a lot more common. So you like yeah. legendaries at the time, not so much anymore. The apex is getting more rare now, but oh, at the yeah. time you could score them for like thirty or sixty bucks, at least the lower condition ones. Yeah, and my my first legendary was an apex at fifty seven fifty seven for a well used. Yeah, which yeah. now would be a steal. Oh, for for the current price on apex, yes, it would be. Yeah, yeah. For comparable uh, legendaries nowadays, it would be a little high. But since there was much less players back then, uh, much less yeah. safes were dropping than they are. Like back then, I remember the, the biker safe was selling for seventy cents, and nowadays, yeah, there's still yeah, so there's seven still quite a few, but not yeah. to the extent of now. And biker dropped for a long time until the, the community one came out. Very long time. And that's why there's quite a few skins for it, and people kind of got probably burnt out on it. For sure. All right. I'll be starting with the um, first one, the Crink of Chopper. Uh, kind of basic black, yellow flames, slightly misaligned with some metal texture. Uh, I mean, it's for a common. It has a pattern, which is unusual, to be honest. <laughs> but that's all it has, really. The rest is pretty basic. So slightly yeah. misaligned, but yeah. Um, from what I can see, it must be just the layout of it, but if you kind of tilt, like if you're looking from the player side and you tilt it towards yeah. the top of the gun, you can kind of see the pattern. Oh, it's aligning a little into. better. Yeah. Yeah. It. I, I can see that. Side, yeah. it's not too bad, but... Because it, it's two parts and it wraps around each part, I yeah. guess. They try to match it somehow. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's a little so no... difficult. Yeah. It's one of those like super cheap skins. <laughs> it, it's still it's still a decent skin. There's not a whole lot to it, but there's it's, nothing wrong with it really. Uh, yeah, it, it's it fits a blue in my eyes. Next one, the Raven Road Rash. Similar with a different kind of white and yellow five kind of pattern thingy. Uh, again, it's fairly simple. A little bit more black, a little more gray, some metal shine. To it. I'm not a big fan of that. It's still a pretty pretty decent skin overall. I I got quite a few of those when I opened back to six back then. <laughs> yeah, I got I remember getting a pretty much any blue and just being like, no, not again. I'm I already have mint, I have hundred and fifty of these. <laughs> Maybe not that many, but I had way too many and it was it got annoying really quick, but I opened a lot of biker safes. I really like the the fade from the the yellow. Oh, the yellow to the, to the brown. Yeah. Yeah, it's it, it. I I don't know. It's it's a really nice fade for the for a blue. No, yeah, definitely. 
And the only the only thing that kind of bothers me is on the front of the foregrip, nothing aligns, but at oh, that yeah. angle, nobody's going to see it. From Oh yeah, it's from the front of it, you don't see it, because the, the heister's hand is on it, that's probably why. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't really see it from the side at all. Yeah. Yeah. Next one, um, horsepower RPK. Uh, I don't know what those white and red patterns are. If they are supposed to be flames, maybe, or explosions or something. I always um, thought they were some type of pinstripes, like on, like what you'd see on a vehicle. Hmm, maybe. It's, it's more of a biker. The way that they did it, I'm now that you mention it, like explosions, I think it's pinstripes and like a fire explosion. I see. Which, it's all right. It's kind of. I'm not yeah. a fan of it. Again, it's a pattern on the common, which is better than nothing, I guess. Uh, it's chrome, metal, and black, so it's. I mean, it's not a great skin, definitely not. <laughs> but it's passable. Well, I, I, yeah, it's it's definitely a fine skin, but I see many other skins that I'd rather use. Yeah. So I just go to those immediately. Plus, I've seen at least 15, 20 of these open. <laughs> yeah. And it reminds me of a certain epic in the same set that, that's not that different from it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the uh, Muffler, Levin Sager, I don't know how you pronounce that thing. This one I actually used to own uh, because I think it was the first uh, skin for that weapon. And it's kind of bluish black flame on a gray body. The only problem is that the you can't really, the mods don't really carry the, the pattern across it, I think. They could have skinned the body, but they haven't for some reason. Probably yeah. because it's hard because of the, the engravings and, and so on in it. The yeah. Embossing. Yeah. But otherwise, it's a skin I kind of like. Yeah, I was going to say, this is one of those skins where when I first got it, I I despised it. I hated it. <laughs> I, I You opened up so many of them. Yeah, oh, you do. Another muffler. But recently, like when I went back to use the Lebensauger, I don't know. It's it's something just really clean. And f when you're holding it, more so like not directly from the back, but a little bit off, the yeah. body has more of a black and the blue pops out. And I, I yeah. really like that. It's more contrasted, yeah. Yeah. And you can see the name of one of the developers on it, Lackner. He's one of the payday, the first payday designers, and he still works for on payday too. I think. I think he's artistic director on uh, on Overkill. Nice. So I, I guess I did not know that. I think for their names, I just noticed it's in there. <laughs> uh, he, he he's pretty active on Twitter. Uh, piston heads, the cross kill pistols. Uh, let's, this one takes a little bit of brown, red uh, grips, and the slide is white flames within black, so it's pretty contrasted. In style, it reminds me a little bit of the wolf colors, to be honest, kind of reddish brown and black and whites. These are pretty nice, actually, for commons, with a yeah. simple pattern. I, well, I'm, I'm repeating myself, but this is another one of those where I open it, uh, like, yep, not another battle-worn pistol heads, or piston heads. I didn't need it, but, I don't know. I've never really been a fan of this skin because with Super Skin Swapper, I can always just take yeah. a different skin and add it to the Kimbos since making a skin for the Kimbos versus yeah. like yeah. the difference is for making a skin for the Kimbos is you're basically just skinning one and it copies to the other. Yeah. So it makes it really easy. Oh, you can't skin a Kimbos separately? Oh, no, no. Can you make like one no. with one pattern and one with another one? No. Oh, interesting. Or not to my knowledge, at least. That yeah, that makes sense. They would copy it, I guess. It it makes it easy to do. A few things that I've actually just while talking noticed is near the front, like where you would screw on a suppressor or oh, yeah, a there's a little bit of flame there. A little bit of flame there. 
And then, I'm not sure if this was designed in, but where the bullets would eject out of it. Just a little bit of white right yep, there. Yeah, tiny amount. And again, the, the overkill screws all messed up as usual. Oh, somebody left. <laughs> <laughs> We're too boring. <laughs> uh, Probably. Sp spark plug, the Shimano Custom. With a 1% tag, a kind of nice red finish, metallic, what shiny. What about the buckhorns? Oh, did I miss it? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, well. Um, Whoa. Maybe well, I should, I should finish out. that first, <laughs> <laughs> since I'm on it. So, black and red metal finish and flame pattern, and a one person sticker, which I suppose is in relation to the top one person, I guess, just like the saw. I mean, it's kind of shiny and common. It's okay, I guess. And I was never a fan, though. Um, with this kind of, I'm not the biggest fan of it. But I will say it it super scan swaps well onto. Uh, okay, there we go. Uh oh. Yay, it's Allie! Allie, we're in a video. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Join Bass. I'm sorry! <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Troubles. Yeah. That's okay. <laughs> That's Allie. Yep, I remember. She says sorry a lot. <laughs> Either way, I like um, skinning this onto uh, revolvers. Just like the Bronco, I think, is one that's really good. Uh huh. Because it carries the, the flames metal. and it has the red. It's clean. Yeah. Other than that, I, I don't really use the Chimano Custom. Me so. yeah. Uh, go be back to the commons because they suck. Backhorns, <laughs> Bear 89, Akimbo's. So you get kind of the flame from the previous skin, but this time was uh, on the grip with a kind of purple yeah. sheen finish, shiny. And it's kind of stainless, stainless chrome uh, slides in black. I guess they look okay. They're kind of simple, but for a common, it's fine. Yeah, for a common it's fine, but this is one where I I don't like it. No, the not the texture big fan. of the grip, yeah. it it kind of takes away from the flames and the super skin swap. It doesn't have much potential, and it's just I don't know. It's really bland in my eyes. Yeah, it it just doesn't fit. It's a little forced. They had to feel the safe, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, now going back to the Uncommons, a Nomad, a KSP. Uh, again, we're going back with uh, the flames again, kind of red, shiny, with little dotted stars. I don't know exactly what it is, or maybe like, um, how do you call those things uh, that women use for makeup? Uh, I don't, like, the only thing I think of is glitter. Oh, glitter. You, that's kind of what I see in there, at least uh, on yeah, the flame part. Yeah, I mentioned it, I see that. Well, unless it's a galaxy pattern or something, I don't know, a star, a night star. I'm thinking, <laughs> I'm thinking it's just a little bit more of a glitter, just to, just to have a little more action in the flames. Yeah. I, for lack of words. And it has a weird payday sticker on it, which is, I don't know, unless it's part of the gun, but... No, I don't think that's part of the gun. So that's a little bit out of place for me. Yeah, it, <laughs> I don't know. It, this is another one of those skins where I have other skins that I use, and even at that, I don't use the KSP. Yeah. So it's kind of hard for me to say, oh, yeah, it's a nice skin, but I don't use it. And, and yeah. The grip is a little out of place, given I don't think they were ex expecting the inspect. Yeah, yeah. So, the other sides, there's really not much not much to it they, could, they had some space to do something but no yes yeah i feel like with the ksp specifically the magazine is something that should maybe it's just me but i always feel like that's a really good spot to add something oh because yeah because people yeah. who don't have the aim down sights mod that you see the magazine it's right there yeah and, and it's, it's it's really good 
and it's flat, so it's pretty easy to, to do some scanning. It's on. really easy to skin on. Yeah. So that's not such a great skin. Uh, I'm and... also not a fan of the pink. Yeah. It doesn't fit the badass feel of Rust. <laughs> the glitter? <laughs> yeah, I feel like this is like Rust's girlfriend's skin. Oh, maybe. Could be. Hey, you're making a safe. I want one too. Okay, here's your skin. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and next one is the first skin for the saw called the One Percenter. I guess it's related to the spark plug, I suppose. It has a um, motor sticker near the grip. It kind of has a ghostly flame pattern on the body, kind of orangish shiny metal finish kind of black and i like the the blade especially with kind of the, oh yeah the ghostly skulls it was a orange this metallic is, this is shine. a skin that could easily have been higher quality in my eyes it yep mm -hmm. the blade is unbelievable it super skin swaps perfect it just it does. has that on oh yeah. it's, it's really really nice <laughs> Yeah, I use it That's quite a bit for that myself. But it's my only saw skin I have for now. Yeah, and it's pretty pretty well done overall. I think the backside, yeah. the flames don't necessarily align very well, but kind of it's still a pretty nice skin. And it was the first saw skin, and they, they kind of did a home run on it. I think. Oh yeah, I this really upped the competition. Like, especially the with the like community safes. You're yeah. comparing yourself to this, and it's like, ooh, that's, that's <laughs> kind of difficult. I've seen some really good ones out there, but I think this is probably one of my favorites. Uh, skins of world or for the saw? Um, For the saw and one of my favorites for the safe. I wouldn't say overall. I think it might be one of the few I have from that safe. Actually, it's the only one, except the Apex. Yeah, that's the only one I have from the safe right now. I got rid of my Isma because I don't play it anymore. Ah. Uh, anyway, uh, next one, the repeater fork. Which, you feel like you're going back in quality, back to the almost comments. <laughs> also, you have one yeah. nice the sticker for the same as, uh, as the saw, the blue flames again, kind of similar to the Lubin Saga. And, yeah. uh, I mean, they use the shape of the body and it kind of flows onto it. But I'm not... A great fan. Also, it's it's pretty decent. Yeah, I'm not as big of a fan of it, but they did use the body well. The sticker is like it's not too big, it's not too small. It has it's nicely placed. The flames look good. I don't see any errors. Like they made yeah. the skin well. I it's, just yeah, it, it fits the body. The skin. Yeah. It's a decent repeater. We have better ones now, but I think yeah. it was the first one again. Uh, for that yeah, weapon. one of the first. Uh, and then we hit into the rares, the Swedish K Asphalt Eater. And here we go. That one has a, I, I kind of really like the, the kind of flame, a realistic kind of flame looks to it, with some of the chrome skull uh, and, and patterns and kind of detailing on the clip. Yeah, it's a this, pretty nice skin overall. This is one of the skins when I was doing the safe unboxings. This is the one I was aiming for. This is... I loved this skin. I never got it until... Oh, oh God. I think it was either a day or two ago. Gunny sent one over. He had an extra mint. <laughs> so I finally got it. Given at the time is it is one of the skins that was fifty cents. So if I if I put a few bucks in to get a skin, I, I never really had enough spare change left oh. to get it. <laughs> but it, it was one of those where I'm not gonna put in like the base five bucks to get a fifty cent skin. Right. So it just it was the skin that I never got until now. So I got it. I'm happy. It actually it's, does super skin swap fairly it well. It does. Sometimes you can see the skull. Yeah. I, I really like the the shininess of the flames. It kind of like lightens and darkens and 
it has feels that like realistic effect. When you move it around, it almost feels like it's moving. Yeah. Yeah. It's not. Yeah. The only problem I have with it is not even related to the skin. It's the Swedish K. I don't it's like not, it. I don't, I'm not a big fan of the weapon either. And you can't I, put it I in have single mods shot. for uh, the gun. Lowers oh, the damage, increases the ammo, so you can use it. Right. <laughs> That's pretty pretty neat, actually. I, I've done a few of those. Like, I, I want to always try balancing it. So yeah. it's not like, oh, hey, I just added a whole bunch of ammo. That's just not fair. So you, you could make it copy paste of another one if you wanted. Also, yeah. uh, I've done that with the cavity also. Make, make it a regular DMR. Actually, I lowered the damage a little bit. Oh, okay. Yeah, makes sense. Because realistically, it only fires pistol rounds, uh, which is kind of funny. I don't know. Fun fact of the day. <laughs> Signature 40, Trimad Mope, which I don't know what the name means, I, ne I never looked it up. Again, a sticker and a really nice kind of ghostly skulls with a green pattern and shiny metal. I, I wonder if it's the same pattern as, uh, oh, almost the same pattern as uh, the One Percenter. Oh, it's slightly different, but it's, it's kind of in the I, same vein. The One Percenter looks a little bit more of a blur yeah. of skulls. I feel like it is the same pattern. But this one's just more... Actually, this one's kind of blurred. I don't know. This one of... just seems a little bit more defined. It's a little bit more detailed, and it's, they are smaller, too. That could be why. On the, on the saw, they're like a lot bigger, the skulls. But... And it's, yeah, uh, it has a sticker, black body, and a bit of white part that kind of contrasts with uh, the green... I... Shiny skulls. I really like the green skulls on this. It works on almost any pistol with a slide. Yeah. And a lot the of weapons. The only problem I have with it is the wear. I have lightly marked, so the wear for like the silvery white. Oh yeah. Is black, or it's like a dark gray underneath. So it it looks honestly kind of disgusting. <laughs> and it. it I would love to use the skin a lot more, but it it kind of turns me away from anything that has a rough wear pattern for light mm. marked. So you need a mint, then? I do need a mint. <laughs> it's another one of those skins where I'm, I'm on the lookout for it, but I'm not going to go out and buy it, because it's, it's super skin swapped well, but Quite, quite specific. Yeah. On where it goes. I also noticed it had the um, the classic overkill pixelized bolts. Yeah. Like around the edge. They you gotta keep with tradition. <laughs> yeah. So far, they nothing is changing there. Yeah. Nope. Let's see. Uh, we still have one more rare, the ESMA Brain Bucket, which I think is a pretty nice piece. I used, I sold mine like last week. Uh, it's a nice black and red and silver, with a, especially on the side you can see a skull sticker. But I, I kind of like the jagged edge; it's kind of sharp. Uh, I do like, I mean, red and black. How how can you go wrong with that anyway? And some yeah. accents of metal in in between, so it really fits the biker theme to me. It's a really nice yeah. skin. It just doesn't swap very well. That's kind of why I sold it. <laughs> Another one of those skins that I, I, I've actually never come across it. I've, I've never had one. I always kind of did want one, but since there's been a lot more safes coming out and whatnot, I've, my priorities lowered on it. Yeah. Not quite as interested, but. Still one that I never got. I don't think I ever opened one either. I don't think I, I, I ever I opened much bikers, to be honest. Um, I, I This was easily the one I opened the most of. I dropped way too much on this. That, well, depending on when you, you opened it, yeah. Cause it, it was pretty expensive when it came out. Back then, safes took a while to drop in price. That was kind of scary. 
<laughs> we didn't have farmers to help us open safes, huh? Oh, that. Uh, next epic, uh, the Rake Chicago Tech Rider, which kind of comes back to the KSP a little bit in style with kind of the kind of stripe patterns. It has a little bit more of them. It has more color difference between the red metal and the black parts. But still, in the sticker reading on the top of the gun, you can see that. Uh, I'm not a big fan of it. I, I don't think it's worth it to be an epic. They try to put more patterns and designs, but it doesn't really cut it for me. Yeah, I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of the stock, the grip, the foregrip. Yeah. But I really like what they did on the main body with like the tire and just that style. The sticker on the top still kind of feels out of place. Mm. But a little the main bit, yeah. body, it, it fits the gun will, especially just specifically the tires. It's just, I don't know what it is. It's, it's a new element. I could see that. Yes, you don't see on other skins, and that's true. Once yeah. again, it has the red, the black, the silver. It's cl it's clean in my eyes. I don't. It is clean. Again, yeah. I I don't use it a whole lot because of the gun it's on, the typewriter. But yeah, I enjoyed it. It was actually one that I opened. I think I did open one too. Actually, Please. now that I notice, wait, right, no, never mind. I thought there was some mistaken points of silver, but those are just bolts. Oh yeah. Well, the the edge between the red and the silver on the on the main body, it's kind of funky. Oh, yeah. But that's silver kill stuff, I guess. Uh, Green yeah. is so wrong or something, or low quality. That's what Rex was saying, I think. I'm not 100% sure. Me I either. just know that there's some things you just can't deal with, and it, it, it annoys me because everyone points it out. They're like, hey, you should fix that. And I'm like, I can't do anything about it. So, <laughs> I'm yep. sorry. Yeah, some guy decided to do a sloppy job and when they put those models together and made them skinnable, I guess. And next epic, the Compact 5 Torque, which I think is actually a quite a bit of work and it's highly detailed, which is more worthy of an epic for me. A little bit more than the rake. Uh, blue, to, um, blue patterns, some flames, uh, some flaming skull with a lot of like uh, stainless steel chains, the chrome. That's uh, that's heavily detailed, and you can see it on both sides of the weapon, which is kind of nice. Yeah, um, this I have good memories with this because this I've opened three of these: oh, two wow. fiction, one lightly marked, and I love the skin. I don't mind the compact five. So like everything about it was good. I have honestly really no hard feelings with this. Only thing I have a problem with, and it it's not really a problem as much when the, the safe came out is the new mods that they added i forget which pack. oh i see it does not skin very well onto mm. either the handguard in the front or the stock which to be honest is kind of a shame is it the ak pack or something maybe i'm not a hundred percent sure because not a lot of um, DLCs brought parts. Maybe the, the Spec Ops did also? Spec Ops, I think it was. Okay, yeah. This one brought new clips. No, it's a really nice epic. I, I don't really use a gun, so I don't have one, technically. So. I don't use it a whole lot, but I when I use the gun, it's, it's, it's a nice sight to see. Mm-hmm. And it, it does super skin swaps sometimes, but not it's not reliable. Yeah. I that's one of those skins where I, I just enjoy it on the gun. Yeah, it's, you can that see it's, it's really made more. for it, yeah. That's what an epic is. They put quite a bit of work in making it fit on it. Try to deal with the grooves and parts of the gun. Yeah. And we'll move on to the Epic, which I have to go back in 
I go. actually have Super Skin Swapper on right now, which takes off the legendary parts. Oh. So I need to go into my inventory to look at it. <laughs> Still works, though. So this is really goes full blown into the kind of biker theme with uh, the stickers, the skulls. Uh, there's a lot of chrome details, some golden details. The flames are here. There's some gold. There's some um, um, nail studs. I don't know you call those things on the barrel. Um, spikes. Spikes. Yeah, that would be that. And uh, the famous axe that's part of the lore of the weapon. Um, unfortunately, not usable in game. It doesn't change the animation or anything. Uh, sadly, it's probably one of the most heavily modified legendary. I think it has the most custom parts on it, mostly because yeah. of the spikes uh, and the axe and the custom barrel and and stock. I believe the original reason why I think I got the skin is I, I liked the breaker, and it had a nice sights. Yeah, I think that's, and then I like the I like pretty much everything about it, and the well used is actually. They're really nice. No, they look pretty good, even the higher, um, like uh, lower conditions and so on. Battle Warren is a little pushing it, but if you can find this relatively cheap, I'd say go for it. It's oh, it's gun, really it's like a, of... it's one of the best legendaries I think that's been made, in, in my opinion. I think at least most yeah. detailed and customized. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Of course, there's gold, but it's not overly used. I mean, it's definitely that, an important that's component where I of like, that, yeah. That's what I really liked about this skin compared to a lot of the more recent ones. They use the gold, which makes it feel like a legendary, but they don't abuse it. Yeah. It's 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 not the feature. It's like the little shine to it. I don't know a technical word, but... Sheen? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. It's it's not the focus of it, and I really really like that. No, it's definitely a, after the Anarcho, they did a really good job on this. Personally, I think. Yeah. Anarcho was probably, probably possibly one of the best, if not one of the best. Oh, and this is not far behind. <laughs> yeah, they did a pretty good job with Anarcho for the size it is. The breaker is a lot bigger, so there's more room to show uh, creativity on it. Yeah, those, those custom medals really add a lot of style to those scenes. Sadly, we don't have those anymore. <laughs> yeah. It's a shame. Yep. I guess I'll be opening a couple safes. I've got 20 of those. Mmm, chopper. Broken in. It's a little chipped, but not horrible. Definitely the pattern on the barrel is a little burnt out. <laughs> what if I get an Apex out of that? Uh, if, if I got a Legendary while opening, I would honestly just flip out. I <laughs> It would not be funny. It actually would be kind of funny, but it, I would have no shame being that loud during finals. <laughs> actually, it's not finals, but right before. It, either way, no shame. Better war, no mad. Yep, go ahead. Let the heart pour out. It's the the drop rates are just so low that. Yeah. I'm more of a quiet one. I don't know if I would be screaming, but... <laughs> and piston heads. I'm probably going to get all blues. Lightly marked. Hmm. I wonder how much those are worth. A couple cents, probably. I don't, I don't know how the price has changed. Oh, I don't think they've changed much. I know they're Nomad. The previous one was Battle War. It looks pretty sad. Broken in it looks a little better. That's almost acceptable, huh? The glitter is still kind of worn out. <laughs> mm. 
Buckhorns. That's your favorite. Um. No. I beg. I beg to differ, but. <laughs> well oh. used. Oh wow, that's really used. The chrome and the stainless part chrome is pretty much gone. <laughs> the grips are still holding pretty well for some reason. Muffler. I'm gonna get all the comments following. One of each in every condition. Broken in. A little scratchy here and there. Uh, definitely worn on the edges. Not bad though. Oh, and as a muffler, I'm gonna pass on that. Wow, I got a mint muffler. Can you believe that? At least it's mint. Yeah. <laughs> Horsepower. Battle worn. Oh. They actually doesn't really wear on the pattern that much. It's just the body is just wrecked. And the clip. Interesting. And another chopper. I'll pass on that. Mint chopper. You see, when I pass on them, I get a mint. That's interesting. And then there's a chopper I'm going to pass. And I got lightly marked. Horsepower. Blues for days. Well used. I guess it's pretty much a little bit less worn, but it's pretty close to battle worn now. The pattern again is hardly scratched, which is kind of interesting. Piston heads. Lightly marked, same as before. The cross kills and lightly marked look pretty nice. Yeah. I hardly see any wear on those things. Piston head stat. <laughs> Lovely. Well used. That's definitely more worn. Not pretty. The grips are not in good shape. Neither is the slide. Passing a couple brain buckets to go to horsepower, of course. Well used. <laughs> and All I can picture right now is just a stream <laughs> of reds. As it land on the blue. <laughs> I got a muffler lightly marked. That's nice. I actually had that happen like a day or two ago. I had, I forget what I sold, but I had enough for a safe, and I'm like, eh, let's just try my luck. I landed between two, I think it was ash stains, oh, stat wow. boost. Oh, Jesus. Get a blue. I think it was a well used blue. I don't remember which skin, but it's like, okay. Yeah, this <laughs> point, you're, just, you're taunting me. I'm, I'm not opening more. Yeah. I'm, I got the Nomad, so I got a couple incomings. And I'm passing the asphalt eater to get the horsepower. That's great. Sounds like a deal. Yep. Yep. Battle worn horsepower is the best. My luck with safes is just bad. Piston heads. <laughs> <laughs> Broken in. Definitely a big step down from lightly marked. Pretty bad. Yeah. Lightly marked Generally, looks really nice. I try going yeah. for lightly marked or mint condition skins on everything. Yeah. Except for legendaries. Yep. Because I can't. I'm not quite willing to just throw that much at some of the skins. And the last one is the battle worn piston heads again. <laughs> Which definitely are not pretty. They've seen better days. 
And I guess that's it for the biker safe. And we'll be moving on to the duke safe, which uh, Daniel actually, I think, I think you like the character quite a bit. I don't know if you like the skins. Oh, I, I love the character. The safes, on the other hand, are kind of... Yeah, we'll get to that. <laughs> All right.